Greetings, everyone. This is John Woodworth from ArrestWorks. And I have a sequence of slides here that illustrate what happens when lightning strikes a power system that is unshielded and, and has a direct strike to the phase conductor. And hopefully this will clarify exactly what happens down in the microsecond level. When the power system is sitting there waiting, we have a single conductor and we, it's suspended by an insulator connected to a cross arm and then the cross arm is connected to, to a pole and goes down to ground. And when lightning comes along, it strikes the system somewhere up and down the system. We can't tell where it's going to happen, but what we, what we do know is that it sets up a surge that travels at the speed of light down the line in both directions. I'm only showing one direction here for a simple, to keep it simple. And as it travels down the line, it may grow in amplitude a bit. Uh, it may change its wave shape a bit, but it's guaranteed it's going to be higher than the voltage withstand of the insulator. So when it reaches the insulator, it immediately flashes over. And this time frame is from 0.1 microseconds to 10 mic microseconds, depending on how far away the strike was from the insulator. Well, uh, this is the flashover from the lightning. And the lightning has a very short life of maybe 20 to 100 microseconds. So after that a small amount of time, it disappears. But when it disappears, it leaves this significant ball of ionized gas around the insulator. This is where the problems really start getting serious. Well, the AC voltage is still on the system. And what happens is that when it starts to reach peak voltage, uh, it senses this low conductivity air around the insulator, and then it flashes over also. So the lightning flash is already completely gone, and then the AC follows it. So this AC arc uh, then flashes over, and we have fault current that begins to flow from the power system across the insulator, across the cross arm, and down to earth. Well, it stays like this until uh, the breaker is activated. So when the breaker opens, finally, the AC breaker from the source, the current stops flowing, and the arc disappears, and the AC voltage in is, is then the recloser or the breaker closes, and AC voltage is restored back onto the line. So there you go. That's the sequence of events. Uh, it goes from beginning with a uh, lightning stroke to a lightning flashover to a ball and ionized gas to a power arc, and then it's recovered by a breaker. There you have it.